Okay, we have here to know an interesting integral on the board. We've got the integral from zero to infinity of one over x to the fourth plus x squared plus 144 dx. And I was kind of liking this one just because it was kind of similar to a few integrals I've done recently with a couple little twists to it. And what I want to do for my first step is kind of just look at this denominator and try to factor this some way. What I'm going to do is to start, I'm going to factor out an x squared from this. So when I rewrite it, I'm going to pull an x squared out and then I'm going to write this denominator as x squared plus 1. And then I'm going to notice that 144 is 12 squared. So I'm going to write this last piece as 12 squared over x squared. Okay, now from here what I want to do is I want to just take this term and this term. What we're going to do is factor it. We've kind of done this before in the past. What I want to do is take those two terms and factor those. And I'm going to factor it a specific way. I'm going to actually put a minus sign. I'm going to write it as x minus 12 over x squared. So when you square this out, you're going to get the x squared back. You're going to get the plus 12 squared over x squared. And then you're going to get a third term. You're going to have a minus 12, minus 12. You're going to have a minus 24. Well, I don't want to change it, so let's add 24 on there to offset the minus 24. And then we also have this plus 1. But of course, I can take these, put these together, and write this as 25, which is going to be nice later on. Okay, now at this point, I want to do a u substitution. We've done very similar things in the past where we've done our u as 1 over x. Slight difference here, we're going to make our u actually 12 over x, just so that we can account for that term. So let's see what we have. We're going to have u is 12 over x. Then I'll take my derivative here to get a du value. So I'll notice that du is going to be minus 12 over x squared dx. Now it's pretty nice. We have our x squared right there. What I want to do is create that minus 12 in the numerator, but then I don't want to change it. So I don't really have a lot of space, but I'm going to write a minus 1 over 12 in there. And then we'll go ahead and make this substitution. So what I'll do with the bounds, when we have this going to infinity for x, well, u is just going to be going to 0. And then if we plug a 0 in for x, our u is going to be going off to infinity. And again, we have our du right here. So our, we'll just make our whole numerator equal to du. And then our x is going to become 12 over u right here. This is going to become minus u. Then we'll have our plus 25 over here. And then a few things I can do. So first of all, I'm going to take this minus sign and I'm going to just use that to swap my balance. So we'll put it back to infinity, actually to zero to infinity. And then here, I'm actually going to change the sign. I'm going to multiply by a minus 1 inside the square. Because it's squared, multiplying by minus 1 is not going to bother me, so I can just switch this like this. And I'm doing that to get it to look more like that, because what I want to do now is a variable change. We're going to use the common trick of adding this to the previous integral. So I'm going to change everything back to x and rewrite it with that 1 12th out front. Okay, now at this point, I'm almost ready to add this integral to a previous integral. What we'll do is we'll call this integral right here i. Our original integral is i. Now I need to do this kind of carefully. We have the same variable here, like we have, we're using x and we're using x here. And then we'll also call this integral over here i. And what I want to do is add this integral to this integral. Uh, one thing, it'd be kind of nice if we had the same constant in front. We have a 1 12th here and we have a 1 12th here. I'm going to just change this back. I'll change that back to a plus, and so I don't change that. I'll just change that one to a plus, so I'm not changing this integral. And now we can add these two together, just noticing we're in the same variable. We have the same denominator, just I'm going to bring this x squared into the numerator here. So we actually have the same denominator here and here. So adding them together for our 2i, I'll bring 1 12th out front. And then for our numerator here, I'm just going to notice we have a 1 here. So I'm going to write this as 1. Then on this one, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to bring my x squared into the numerator. So I'm going to write this as 12 over x squared. And then we'll just copy down the denominator as we have it here. And then I'm just going to divide by 2 on both sides here, because I like to isolate just our integral i. So we can cancel that here. And this 1 12th divided by 2, I can write as 1 over 24. And then you may notice here we're perfectly set up for another u substitution, because we have our u right here. I could use a different variable, but because it's a definite integral, I can just reuse u. So what we're going to do for our u substitution, I'm going to make my u equal to x minus 12 over x. And the beauty of that, when we take our derivative, this is going to become 1, and this is going to become plus 12 over x squared dx, and that's exactly what we have right here in the numerator. All right, so now at this point, I think we're ready to make our substitution and finish this off. So let me just bring my 1 over 24 up front. And I think we have this set up perfectly where, again, our du is the whole numerator. So I'm going to write that du right there. This is going to become u squared. For plus 25, I'm actually going to write that as 5 squared, just so that we have that the way we need it. And then let's see what happens to our bounds. So when we plug an infinity in here, well, this 12 over infinity is just 0. 
So we end up for u, u is just going to be going towards infinity. And then now for 0, we plug a 0 in for x, that's just 0. We plug a 0 in, minus 12 over 0, that's going to be heading towards minus infinity. And now we'll just go ahead and integrate this thing, just recognizing that it's exactly in the form for arc 10. So our formula for that, we'll just bring our 124 of 1 over 24 out front. Now in the formula for this integral, we're gonna have the one over our a value here, which is five. We're gonna have one over five out front. Then we're gonna have arc 10 of just u over five. And we just need to evaluate that from minus infinity to infinity. But first I'm gonna multiply five times 24 and get 120 here. And then we'll just evaluate. So I'll have my one over 120, arc 10 at infinity. Now because we have infinities here, this five is not gonna do anything. So we're gonna evaluate arc 10 at infinity is just gonna be pi over two. And then here, arctan at minus infinity is going to be minus pi over 2. Now, minus times minus is going to give me a plus here. Adding pi over 2 and pi over 2 is just going to be pi here. So multiplying it by 1 over 20, we're going to have our final solution of just pi over 120. Okay, good problem. We'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.